हेलो एवरी वन गुड मॉर्निंग और गुड इवनिंग कैन से द बेस्ड ऑन द लोकेशन यू आर एन ओके सो वेलकम बैक टू अनदर वेनजडे टॉक्स सो मैनी ऑफ द सब्सक्राइबर्स हैव बीन आस्किंग अबाउट वाई कॉन्ट यू एक्सप्लेन अबाउट द सॉक्स सेवन इन डिटेल सो हियर कम्स द वीडियो ऑन दिस सो आई हैव try to make this video very simple so that it can reach everyone in a simple way okay so here comes the agenda so why sock 7 is occurred and uh, generally uh, when you're working uh, as a, a either it can be in a production support or in during the development or a tester during a testing of the programs the sock 7 is commonly seen so that is the reason it's very important and we need to why we need to understand why this sock 7 is occurred right what is the reason behind this so we will be going to see that at the same time how to find the error uh, i mean where this sock 7 has abandoned and what is the code or the line of statement in the cobol code we are going to see that as well we, uh, we are going to find that and at the same time uh, a record so if you have 1 million records in a file and uh, we are not sure which record is impacted so we are also going to identify that particular record which got abandoned uh, with the sock 7 so there may be one linear records uh maybe 1000 records uh, might have been clean uh, there is a, in the 1001 record there is an uh, a data there is an issue with the data and it's causing an abandon so we need to identify that so how to identify it we are going to see that as well at the same time we are going to see the solution to fix it so we know that why this sock 7 has occurred and we have identified the statement in the code and at the same time we also identified the record that is getting affected and we need to identify the solution right so you know the problem but we need to also identify the solution to fix for the future not to get these kind of an abends back right so we are also uh, we are also going to see how to get the solution to this right so these are the this would be the agenda uh, for this and uh, let's get started okay the first scenario right so in what situation the sock 7 is seen generally right so i can say i mean as everyone knows that sock 7 is occurred mainly due to a non numeric value is being sent to the or uh, being computed with the numeric value i mean you are trying to send the non numeric value to the uh, numeric declared variable right so that is where the sock 7 is occurred but in what scenarios right for example you have an a com3 variable and you are not in, you haven't initialized any value to that and you are trying to move that value to an another variable so at that time the sock 7 is assigned at the same time you have another uninitialized numeric value and you are trying to compute the same than the sock 7 can occur and at the same time you have received an invalid data in the com field and again you are trying to compute right so then it's it's a sock 7 and at the same time invalid data when you are using especially in the cobol code uh, either occurs a subscripts or an index for the search so in that scenarios also you can see the sock 7 and also the sometimes we receive an invalid sign in the com3 fields so we can uh, see this sock 7 happening and at the same time group move overlaid on a, a numeric field with a non numeric data so these are the general uh, scenarios that will be coming across uh, and we we have you might have already seen right so this is based on the experience that i have came across just by putting that if you have noticed few more yes definitely you might have there may be other situations or scenarios if you have noticed please do a uh, comment so that everyone other people also come to know about uh, what are the other situations or scenarios you might have come across okay so that's uh, about the in what situation this sock 7 is seen and let's come to the first scenario one as i've mentioned it's a uninitialized numeric value and trying to move the value and that causes let's see the program very simple program so you have two fields uh, with the com3 and uh, just i'm meaning naming it as sock7 output and output what i've mentioned here uh, uninitialized numeric value and trying to move the value right i haven't in, uh, initialized anything there is no value in it and just i'm trying to move this value to this so in that case damn so you will be getting a sock 7 abend so this is the line that is getting impacted due to this line so you can see the sock 7 commonly uh, sometimes what happens you are trying to read the file uh, the field uh, is not initialized okay initially there is no data or uh, 
and uh, you're trying to move the value again and again so the SOC 7 can happen so this is the scenario one so just you can uh, make sure this is been and always make sure like when you are trying to move make sure that value is there you check the condition is numeric or uh, is the value is there so those kind of a condition if you verify so you can avoid these kind of an issues okay and second one uninitialized numeric values and trying to compute this it's the same thing uh, earlier what we have done so we have tried to move the uninitialized values and we got an append this time you're trying to compute with uninitialized value and you're you're trying to do some mathematic operation yes obviously you will be getting in a SOC 7 abandoned so this is because uh, uh, you are not initializing any any numeric value and it's getting an error that's common right okay now let's look at the scenario 3 so invalid data received in a com field and trying to compute right so invalid data when I say invalid data so you have this alphanumeric value and you have initialized some value here and you are trying to move that value so up to this this is fine at the same time you're trying to compute do this so this cannot uh, this says I can't understand so then it throws an exception error saying that SOC 7 okay so this is the other third scenario you might have seen commonly I have seen this most of the times and let's see the scenario 4 what's the scenario 4 invalid data when using subscripts or occurs and uh, causing a SOC 7 so look at the program very close so I have declared one input so maybe sometimes it may be the input file or it can be an output file structure so which occurs the five times and the uh, and uh, and it, it occurrences five times and the same time is occurrences of five times to make it very simple so this is alpha numeric and this is the numeric I'm trying to move this so if it is a numeric and you're trying to move and trying to compute that that's fine there will be no issues and if there is any invalid data apart from the numeric value that comes up here and you're trying to compute with the numeric so then there is an error occur I mean you you'll be seeing a SOC 7 in this situation so that is the reason I thought like let me put the snapshot so that this is also one of the reason to get the SOC 7 right so I'm trying to I mean since uh, this values are called as a subscript and if you are using a search index to bytes then that is called as an index okay so I'm tr what I'm trying to do I'm trying to accept the value from the console generally in real time we don't do this so normally we pull it from the files and uh, uh, we try to compute that so for example you have a five records wherein you are trying to take the customer transaction uh, five first to five transaction details of that or maybe uh, I can say like the highest transactions whose uh, transaction is greater than 1 million and in that greater than 1 million uh, the f I wanted to capture the first uh, 5 transactions so that is the scenario there so I'm trying to capture those and uh, first 5 transaction details that is a 5 records and I'm putting it into the array okay so that is customer data of 5 so 5 records has been stored there okay so at the same time what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to move those records into uh, a customer transaction okay that is amount so the which is nothing but so amount so I'm trying to move this at the same time I'm trying to compute this okay what happened up to fourth record that is fine fifth or fourth record there may be some invalid data that's been entered and when trying to compute so it got abandoned so that would be the scenario uh, this would be another scenario where uh, we can see uh, it causes an abend okay and scenario 5 the program leading the large volume file and noticed an invalid data and that leads to a SOC 7 so you have enough files and where you have an input file and output file and you're trying to read some data and everything is fine so but it is certain when, it, when you're trying to write some data uh, after uh, maybe 10k records and uh, and then the, some invalid data has come and you're trying to write the record or computing that record and then you got in SOC 7 up in, and you need to fix that okay so this is another scenario which is commonly seen and other scenario that you may be coming across is you have a DB2 table and you have unloaded the data from DB2 uh, to a flat file and from there uh, and you have a next step which is reading that file and uh, you notice some error right so some invalid data and that at the 10,000 record okay uh, then 
you have caught the issue right so what you have to do in that situation the pro actually the error is in the table so from the table you have copied to a flat file and that flat file is given as an input to the program right so that is that is another scenario I mean these are the, like this we will be getting across the multiple situations where you will be coming across the SOC 7 so what I am uh, sh uh, sharing to you is uh, it's a completely uh, real-time uh, uh, scenarios that have come across and I, I'm sh going to share it so that it would be helpful to everyone that's and as I've mentioned in the beginning if you come across a different situation please do comment in the below comment section so that everyone will be going everyone will be learning even I will be learning uh, from you all okay so that's the scenario 5 and uh, and uh, how do we find the line of statement right so first is you need to find the offset from sys out of run jcl in this pool and uh, we have to copy the lost uh, four digits of it and then uh, follow these steps okay I think I'm going fast okay let me do something here so let me connect to the mainframe and show you how uh, thus uh, earlier the first situation right how we can see the SOC 7 append so let's do that and then we'll come into this uh, second uh, second uh, thing that is uh, find the line of statement okay okay so here I'm connected to the mainframe uh, let's see the first scenario what is this uh, uninitialized numeric value and trying to move the value right so uh, what I'm trying to do here is uh, instead of this okay that should be fine mm, so this is the code right so you're trying to move uh, this thing so move uh, uninitialized value okay let me write the statement here okay uh, move uh, WS uh, SOC 7 SOC 7 output to WS SOC SOC 7 out okay so this is where I'm trying to do that so let me comment this I don't want to add anything now okay so you have this you're trying to move an initialized value to another uh, variable and uh, that would cause an append okay so first let me uh, com uh, compile this okay make sure I wanted to make sure compile is fine you can see that compile is fine there is no issue in the compilation and let's uh, run this I can say like gm2 okay let me run this and see what happened can see that the SOC 7 is occurred right so this is the first scenario okay and uh, what was the second scenario second scenario was uninitialized value and trying to compute right so let me uh, try this okay 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 let me comment this and uh, what I'm trying to do I'm trying to comment this okay I'm trying to compute this okay again what I can do I'll uh, recompile the compilation should be okay yes the compilation works fine and uh, let me run this and see what happens again you can see the SOC 7 so this is the second scenario and let's see the third scenario third scenario you have an invalid data received in the comp field right so let's uh, see that one as well okay so you have a, a data so let me say one two three four dot okay and uh, what I'm trying to do uh, okay I don't want to pass anything or I can do anyway okay or uh, instead of every time changing the value okay so accepting the input and uh, what I'm trying to do you are moving this input to an output so which is of uh, numeric and then you're trying to compute that okay so this is the situation and then let me compile let's see if there is any error so it went fine and uh, since I'm entering the value from here so I wanted to make sure I'm entering the value so one two three four five okay that's fine so there is no error at all it went fine so let me change something here let me add a dot and uh, you can see this has abandoned with the SOC 7 so this is another uh, scenario so wherein uh, we have some uh, value invalid value and you're trying to uh, compute that so this is the scenario 3 okay. and scenario 4 invalid data when using subscripts or occurs causing an uh, SOC 7 right 
so this is another scenario so where uh, uh, you can come across if you want me to run I can run but I've got a lot of comments saying that uh, I'm going slow so just uh, sometimes there uh, people say like I'm repeating again and again so the reason I repeat the things again and again is uh, to make sure everyone is understanding this so that's the reason I repeat uh, sometimes again and again okay yeah so that's about uh, the subscripts uh, I mean when we are using this okay so let me go to that program as well so this is the program so wherein uh, you have uh, you may come across uh, this one so since I've already compiled this okay so I can say subs and uh, here I'm trying to enter the value five times okay four times repeat okay repeat four times you need to enter the four times okay so just uh, I'm making some issue there and when I run this so you can see uh, this appended with SOC 7 so why so it has to uh, it is accepting five occurrences and at the fourth or fifth occurrences uh, so that's the problem and that is causing an so far we have seen the scenarios right now we will uh, see the line of statement uh, or the code where the SOC 7 uh, has I mean the reason behind the SOC 7 in the code that we will see okay okay uh, first what we need to know is we need to know the offset and where we can get that offset and since you have already run the JCL and you have noticed that SOC 7 has appended and you go to the sysout then we can capture that four digits again what you need to do with the four digits so you need to go to the compiled uh, uh, JCL so where initially your program was compiled or you can try to recompile and make sure your compiler has the list and offset option so that we can see that offset value there and with that offset value we can see the line of code where uh, the statement is causing an error so then uh, we can see the number then we can go up and we can see the statement and then we can identify uh, this SOC 7 is appended so this is how the offset value looks so in the run JCL and we have to capture this and we have to go to the compile JCL or to the sysprint and then we can see let me go here back okay so this was a run JCL so I'm submitting again to show you this so I can see that SOC 7 is amended okay and uh, then press F3 and then here come back and then you can see this out and you can notice that uh, the compiled offset is uh, he this is the four digits offset value capture that okay and then uh, the compiled JCL okay where was the compiled JCL yeah it should be the compiled JCL okay this is the compiled JCL what I've mentioned here make sure your program should uh, is compiled should our uh, program is compiled sorry about this uh, compiled with parameter list or offset okay so how do you uh, check that right so whenever maybe if you're using uh, Endeavor or if you're using an ISPD blue or if you're using any other tool so there you will be seeing the parameter option so make sure that uh, you are having this list so if the list is not there by default if you're using a tools you know, by default it will be there okay so go here and see in the parameter uh, in the parameter the list option is enabled so if you don't see the list so then uh, uh, you cannot see that okay so le let's go back and uh, recompile okay yeah I'm recompiling okay yeah done and again uh, okay so again I wanted to capture that okay sorry I haven't captured the uh, offset value okay let me capture this 0426 right okay so since I have already compiled there should be a sysprint yes sysprint is there and press F this one okay 0426 this is assembler code so so when you press this uh, 0426 uh, check for the immediate statement okay so now you can see the compute okay so we have the line number okay control C and then you have to uh, uh, go uh, go to the top okay and just search for this line number press enter now you can see this is the code that is getting a uh, error okay so that is the reason uh, this is causing an issue 
okay so this is been identified then what we'll do we'll go back to the program and we'll see uh, so this is the error that is getting so the reason behind this we are we haven't uh, initialized the value so that is the reason it is getting a error okay so that's the reason okay so then this was the error uh, that we have notified and this is how we can identify uh, the problem or I can say the line of statement okay so what's next right so how to find the record uh, it got abandoned with socks in okay so what we can do is we can uh, recompile the program by adding a display statement so to this program itself uh, what I can do here is I can add a display statement okay you can just add a display so display and we can uh, identify in which line this is getting appended so if you are not up adding display statement for example I okay so I have commented this okay and then here let me go back okay okay let me compile this okay and it should okay and uh, then run this okay so I know that this is at the fourth line so what about if you have 1 million records so we are not sure right so in that situation right so this is a simple example I'm taking here okay so this is a, a SOC 7 okay so when I look at the output what I can see is only the offset okay so the only the offset and I know in which line this is getting appended but I mean which statement which is get, getting appended but I'm not sure about the record where this is getting appended so in that case what to do I'm not sure right so what we can do is just make a simple change in the program so we know that this is the line we are getting appended but we are not sure in which record of the input file this is getting appended just add a display statement here okay just add a display statement here and recompile this I had this statement here and recompile this okay just I'm trying to recompile this uh, no no this was subs okay okay recompile this okay yeah you have recompiled and then we'll rerun this okay then rerun okay so again you can see this is appended okay again you go back to the spool and just check that this out now you can see four third re three records it is fine fourth record is a problem so fifth record anyways it did in process so this is how we can know where is the error okay this is to identify the record number where uh, the is an issue okay if you have 1 million records also so if you have 10,000 records maybe the record error has happened at the 500 records damn uh, then you can see that error okay so that's how it goes on okay so this is about how to find the record it got abandoned with the SOC 7 so what we have done we have updated the program adding a display statement after reading the input file and we have recompiled and then after running we have captured the uh, we can see the location and the record then then uh, spool last record is been fine okay that is how we find the record okay now uh, we will look at the solution to this okay now uh, identifying the root cause of it and uh, providing the solution to make sure in the future this abends are not occurred right so first is you need to fix the program okay uh, how do we fix the program make sure uh, com3 variables are initialized okay so initialized with some values okay or zeros or anything and you need to check the value by adding condition is numeric if that particular so what we have done in the program so we are trying to move uh, some value to another one variable to another variable so before that moving itself just check add a statement is uh, has the numeric or value is numeric or not if it is numeric then you it's a business decision what you want it to do if it is not numeric what you have to take so either you want to bypass that record or write it into an error file so you have a different files input file output file error file or log file some 
I mean in the real time so you'll be seeing a different files so move that particular record into error file and just process the rest of the records so that is how we can uh, do it or we can fix uh, the problem so what that error files and anyways uh, if we ha if we see that error file so we, it will be sent to a different team and there they will be uh, monitoring they will be looking at why this why this is uh, record is being written into a error file and they provide some solution or they will be sending into the upstream system or a business team saying like the user has entered some invalid data that is the reason or they will identify the root cause okay so that is another scenario okay this is where uh, we provide a solution and restart the program by removing the bad program so one is fixing the program okay and other is uh, restart the program by removing the bad record so since we have added a display statement now we know that the record is at the 500 issue is with the 500 to record right so what you can do if this scenario can be uh, in the place where uh, you have seen that particular job or the particular program is abandoned for the very first time or maybe after a long uh, years or you are seeing for the first time SOC 7 is upended right so what you can do just remove that ba bad record or delete or remove and copy to another rec record and then try to rerun that particular step or the program okay move the bad record into other file manually or using sort and then override the GCL and then rerun it okay so that's how uh, we can fix it and later you can communicate to the respective teams and uh, they will identify the root cause what it has happened why it has happened and they will try to uh, fix it in the future uh, fix to make sure in the future they are not getting any kind of an uh, errors right so this is how we can uh, notice that there is a problem okay and this is a solution uh, for a, any uh, SOC 7 up that we will be coming across so what we have discussed why SOC 7 is occurred how to find the line of a statement and how to find the record it got abandoned with the SOC 7 and what will be the solution uh, to fix it right so this was the things uh, we have uh, discussed okay and I wanted to show you another uh, uh, important program okay so where is that program okay one second okay let me go to this so this is the files program okay file so wherein we have as I have been telling you right so you have million records million records and there the records uh, there may be an issue with the uh, 500 the record the are thousand records so how do I identify right right so as I have mentioned already so you will be using a display statement okay so this is somewhere we got an error so just uh, uh, making sure so we have some error I'm adding a display statement here and then I'm trying to recompile this okay so program 3 and we also ha made sure that parameter pass it has list okay so I'm submitting this okay and then and I uh, have this program and uh, here we have the input file okay what is this doing is uh, okay input file okay uh, in the input file I can say like uh, we have almost sorry okay okay we have many records there okay so the, let me run this you can see the SOC 7 is upended okay so let me go to the spool and say okay so this is the records and uh, and uh, you can see that okay okay you can see uh, the last record of it so where uh, we got the bend so this is how we uh, generally look at uh, with the files concept okay and uh, then we will try to fix uh, go to that particular record and uh, see what exactly that happened and then uh, okay let me remove this okay yeah so we'll go there and uh, no more screens huh? okay let me close this and uh, uh, EMP 
All right. So since we have already seen that uh, this record has happened there, so this is the record that is causing an event, right? Sometimes what happens, uh, you need to turn on the Exxon and we have to see what is the issue and so on, right? So that, so that's where uh, that is how we can fix the errors. Okay, yeah. So that covers the complete SOC 7. I hope I have provided my good information about the SOC 7, what is the reason and uh, what are the different uh, scenarios that will be coming across and how to identify the statement, how to identify the record and what is the solution uh, we can take care. Okay, that's it. Okay, thank you so much for watching this uh, video and uh, please do like, comment and provide your feedback and do share okay uh, thanks thanks a lot for your time on watching this and have a good day thank you